welcome to my channel. My name is Lisa and today I have a Timu haul. A small one, but uh, I thought I would share it with you. Um, so let's get started. Cut into this. All right, get rid of that. All right, let's see what we got here. Not sure what that is, but Okay. All right. So, all right. Let's start with these. Um, these are those pens. They're not really pens. They are uh, uh, blades. Tiny little blades. So, let me grab a book here. Got my mushroom book here. So my thought on these was to be able to, if I needed to, be able to go through. Oh, I guess I missed the. Not, not quite. Seem to have missed some here. Bad. I wonder if I can. Look. My thought was to be able to fussy cut out of these. Let's see. Well, sort of. Hmm. I have to practice with those a little bit, but I'll press harder. Okay, well, we'll see. They were like 47 cents, so not a huge thing if they are not worth it. So, okay. All right, so um, I got some of these book corners because I wanted to put them on my spring journal I just made. So I'm not sure. to see how those bend. They look kind of flimsy, but we'll have to see how those work. Yeah, I'm not sure if they bend around. I guess they go like that. Doesn't really cover the corner though, like I thought they would. They're decorative, but it doesn't cover that corner. Hmm. I'll have to play with those a little bit more. I got silver and a antique looking one. So, okay, they're okay. All right, we'll put those to the side. All right. Let's open this mystery package because I am not sure what this is. Hopefully this glare is not killing you. Oh, it's just another one of the stamps. They just put it in a fancy package. Okay. All right, so um, I pretty much do not own stamps. So I got some blocks. And I hear that they have a coating on them that you need to remove before you use them. And this could take a couple decades to remove. There we go. Oh, that's not too bad. They do have lines on that side. They, the lines that they have might be hard to see, but the lines are engraved in there a little bit. So let's see if those come in handy in the future. When you're trying to line something up,
they're faint, but you can sort of see them. Okay, so, all right, so I have all these blocks for rubber stamps. I'll have to peel those off, but all right, let's take a look at what rubber stamps I got. So, uh, the first one I got was the one that came out of that fancy package, and it said, I think, Heritage on there. Romantic Retro. Romantic Retro. Now, like I said, I do not have any stamps, so these are pretty much going to be generic -y, generic -y ones for me. Some dots. I feel like they're all one stamp. So I'd have to cut through it. And maybe that's how they all are. And cut where I want them to be. I mean, most of these were like $1.50, so. All right, this one is called Nothing, but it is like postage. It's got, let me get a piece of paper here. So it's, it's got like fine lines, dots. Let's see if I have. So these are separate, luckily, but they are just small print, cute. I could definitely add that to something. Oops, I need to learn how to put it the right way. This like has a postage stamp on it. Cute, I gotta learn how to stamp though. <laughs> okay, cute, okay. All right, there's that one. All right, so the next one is labels. It just says transparent, it doesn't have a name. And they are definitely more memo labels says, may you live every debt of your life. <laughs> okay, misspelled. Everything you can imagine is real. Checked. Let's see if it really does say. Should have got my little stamper out. It does say, live every debt of your life. No. If you don't mind misspellings, then okay. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to learn how to play with these a little bit. All right, so this one is cute. First class. All right, let's try it with an actual stamp. Let's see if Lisa can figure out how to do this. I have to practice with these. Okay. All right.
Okay. Now this one I thought was going to be fun if I didn't want to get my sewing machine out. And I wanted to do a little detail of stitches. They are just stitch lines. Um, over. <laughs> I got straight lines and straight lines and zigzag, earring bone, swirls, stars, wavy. Very cute. Very cute. I think there was a, yeah, the thing I got had a long one in there, so that looks like it should attach to those. Okay. That was my hope. Okay. All right. And this one, it looks like it's like miniature ledgers. Miniature. Yeah, like little ledger things. Little envelopes. Alright. Are these cut apart? Yeah, these are cut apart. Alright, let's let's give it another go here. straight. Oh yeah, that's cute. Like a little receipt. All right. Since I ruined this side, <laughs> I'll clean it off there. Okay. Yeah, those are cute. Sticky to the thing. I'm learning. I'm learning. Okay. All right. Get some of these wrappers out of here. All right. And the last one is more kind of to make my own labels, I thought, which would be really cute. somewhere and cut your own label out. I guess if that's for if you wanted a solid something solid backing up what you're looking for. Oh no that's just oh that just shows the picture. Okay. Interesting. Let's see what that one looks like. Whoops. Oh, uh, yeah. There we go. Okay. So that was just behind it to show what it looks like. So I'm guessing this one, yep, that is just a straight one versus how that had like two overlapping lines. I did not stamp crooked. That's how it came. <laughs> yeah, these have two overlapping lines and some single lines. And just some, I was looking for some just plain old, you know, if you want to throw a couple little dots somewhere. Cute. Okay. All right. Now I need some place to store these. Figure that out. But, yeah, all in all, not too shabby. I just need to learn how to play with them. So I now have at least a bunch of different kinds to work with. So, all right, well, I hope you enjoyed my fumbling with that. 
and saw something that maybe, oh, that could be interesting to get. Um, and hopefully um, I will learn how to use these really well. So thanks for stopping by and I hope you have a good day.